Hey everyone, I'm back with another little planner flip through. Um, I, I'll link to the blog post below, but today I was sort of rambling on about bullet journaling, how I do it, why I do it, how it works for me, that sort of thing. And I just sort of set up this, like, let's just take a look at this. Is this not, how could I resist that at Michael's? It's beautiful, right? This is from the Jane Davenport collection that she's done with American Crafts. You can get it from her website and uh, from Michael's in Canada and in the US. So I will link that if I can. But I just thought we'd flip through. I watched a lot of Christy Tomlinson videos yesterday. Um, look her up on YouTube if you're not familiar. She also runs the Planner Society um, Instagram, Kit Club, that sort of thing. And I watched a lot of Allie Brown yesterday. So if you see influences of both in here, well, you will see influences of both in here. It's not an if, they're in here. So I just set this guy up for February and I thought we'd go through. So, like, let me slide this out. This is something I saw from Christy yesterday that I thought was a lot of fun. It's just two uh, snap pocket pages. I just washi taped over the holes and then a little packing tape put them together. So I'll insert some photos in here. I haven't done that yet, but that sort of goes around everything in this. Um, the, the Jane Davenport books are called Butterfly Effect Journals is what she's called them, but really it is a traveler's notebook. I added, it comes with, uh, the, the pink elastic was on this one, but I added an extra elastic so that I could fit four notebooks in here. So this is sort of a dashboard, just a cover thing that I made a spot for some sticky notes. This is a little mini calendar. I wanna say I found this at the Michaels Dollar Spot. And in the middle of that, this I put some to-do list. Again, this is, oh, I should tell you, this is not perfect. Um, nothing in here is perfect. If you're looking for perfection, um, I would very politely and kindly say thank you for coming and maybe you need someone else's YouTube channel, but I do what I like and it works for me and it's fun. And so, you know, there's nothing wrong with things being a little less than perfect. This to-do list paper came originally from a Heidi Swap planner that I got at Michael's and it's just not being used right now. So I cut it down, washi taped it and put it in the middle of this calendar and we'll see how that works for me. So that's a month calendar. This is another sort of just paper cover I made, uh, kind of a dashboard again. This is a piece of transparency from a Webster's Pages collection. I will try and find out exactly which one. Right here, I'll just have a little spot for some memories of the month. I'm sort of switching early, so I have January and February. I put in something that we did on Friday, so I'll have a little bit at the end of January here. This will be this week. Um, I haven't filled everything in yet, obviously. And this is just the marker paper inserts that came with the journal. And right here is another just, you know, scrap paper journal that I put together that will be gratitude for the month. I'll have a lot of space there. This is the end of that same little dashboard. This is one of the pockets you can buy at Michael's with the Jane Davenport collection. I just have some random stickers and things in here. Um, I'll link this stamp as well. Anything that's not linked in the YouTube description will be linked on the blog post. So I'll probably link the blog post here. Head over there if you wanna get links for all of the supplies and stuff. That might be a little bit easier. We'll see how that um, goes down. So I stamped some things on here to make a note of the art journal spreads and scrapbook pages that I make through the month. Uh, my bookshelf, so as I finish a book, I'll sort of color it in and add more onto the shelves, keep track of the names of them, that kind of thing. Uh, here I'm tracking some information on workouts, training. This is also uh, leftover paper from Heidi Swap Planner that I cut down and just sort of put it in here. This is a Project Life card. I think this is a Kaiser Craft card. Um, again, we'll link that to the end of that pocket. Another Jane Davenport pocket with some more leftover Heidi Swap paper. And this paper, let me show you the notebook that this came from. It's just a regular sort of um, notebook that's water resistant. So it's really thin paper, but you can watercolor on it. And so I threw in some sheets here that I cut down just for fun. Yes, I know the lines are the wrong way. No, that doesn't matter to me. This is some leftover grid paper. And those are just sort of some randomness that I can play with or use markers on or just color if I feel like it. And that's the end, again, of that same um, snap sheet. These little tassels I just got from Michaels and I have a charm from the Dane Jane da da Davenport, oh my gosh. Her nickname is Danger, am I trying to call her Danger? I don't know. A charm from the Jane Davenport collection. This is from Michaels. This is from Michaels, I think, in the jewelry section and I also bought another butterfly uh, journal. This one isn't being used right now, but I played with it a little bit anyway. Some tassels, another Jane Davenport charm. And so what I have in here 
another snap uh, or some more snap pages. Or these might actually are We Are Memory Keepers 4x4. They're not the simple story snap at all. We Are Memory Keepers 4x4. This was one of the dividers in a Heidi Swap planner that I just sort of turned into a dashboard. This is a weekly printable from Jane Davenport's website. It's a great little calendar printable. Um, so I may move to this, you know, next month. This is just random scrap paper that happens to be grid paper, a small notebook from the Michaels dollar spot that I cut the edge off of, and just some more scrap paper. So we'll see. You know, I may have this one just sitting here on my scrapbook table to play with. Uh, I may use this one mostly. I may go back and forth. The other thing that I wanted to do, the other thing I had made today with some Project Life cards from the same collection as the one that's in here, I sort of slid this guy around everything, but as you'll see, it's a little bit big and it sticks out. And so I do like it. It's kind of fun if I move it down. It sort of right now covers up the areas where I don't have photos in yet, but it ends up being a little bit big. I'm not a, that's not a big problem for me. I just haven't decided yet if I will leave it in there or not, but we'll see. So now I am on to writing out what's happening this week. Um, I'll put a few more little paint splatters and some randomness on here. I just sort of, you know, moved my ink around after I stamped and um, yeah. So I'll fill this out. I will have a few, color in a few more things and I will be all set for February. So thanks for watching. Um, let me know what your planner system is right now. Like I said, I'll link to the blog. There'll be some older posts. The blog post that I link to will have some older planning posts too if you're curious about what I've been doing. But yeah, I really love this book. I love the Traveler's Notebook setup. It's sort of, this for me is a combo of uh, bullet journal, Traveler's Notebook. Again, I don't do a bullet journal um, really sort of by the book. I don't have my index. I don't have collections. I don't have page numbers. I love all those things. I admire people who do them. And when you're using just one notebook, I know it works really well. Uh, that just isn't what I need right now. But what I do like from the bullet journal system is its flexibility. So um, the flexibility and the simplicity of the idea is sort of where I, how I fell into it. And now I just like to use it in a way that works for me. If you have.